Hello everyone, I wish you good health. Today we have a very important topic, training a dog for various hygienic procedures. We'll start with bathing and then we'll tell you how to trim the clothes, how to clean the ears and generally talk about the various procedures your puppy may encounter. Bathing. This is a special place because it looks special, it smells special. If the first times when you take your puppy to the bath are associated with some negativity, this can discourage your puppy from wanting to bath for the rest of his life. So the most important thing is to get to know this room and do it in a positive way. Before we continue this topic, I want to tell you that everything I will do here at once, you can stretch it for several days. For example, take one step on one day, the next step on the next, and so on. The slower and smoother it will be, the less chance you'll make any mistakes and the safer it will be to accustom the dog to various procedures. But if your dog has a normal psi and is not fearful, we can do it at all a little faster. First step, we need food and we need to introduce the puppy to this space. There is no need to rush to watch the dog immediately. I understand that it may happen that you got into your first train with the puppy and you immediately want to watch the puppy, but if you do this, problems may arise and the dog will then avoid all these procedures. Therefore, the first step is simply familiarization with the bathroom and you can really end there. But if the puppy is not fearful, we can continue. The next step is getting to know the shower cabin. There is one nuance. Showers are often very slippery. The puppy can get scared when it's on an unstable surface. So we will take a towel and put it on the bottom, so that the puppy's first experience with the shower is as pleasant as possible and nothing could scare him. If the puppy can climb right into the shower cabin, it will be cool, but as you can see, it is not very convenient to do it here. We can encourage the puppy to see that there is something interesting and strive for it. Okay, the next step is we put the puppy inside and give him time to adapt in this space. Nothing terrible is happening so far, and everything is very gradual. If you force events, the puppy may get scared. The next step is to introduce the puppy to the sound of the door, so that the puppy does not get scared and continues to eat. As you can see, Eva is not worried at all. We can try to make her sit. The next step is familiarization with water, but not direct contact when you start to wet the puppy, and the water just pours somewhere, and the puppy just sits and listens. Let me remind you that this is the next step when we get to know the cabin. 
and you can end the exercise at this point so as not to overwork the puppy. We got a hose, you can let the puppy smell it so that he understands that nothing interesting is happening. It's all because of food. Also, friends, I want to remind you that all this should happen at the right moment. If the puppy is overexcited, if it hasn't run up, hasn't went for a walk, it can be happy, run, jump, and all this will bother you. The next step, we turn on the water, but so that the water does not get in the puppy. You see, we had a little reaction, but it's nothing to worry about. At this stage, you can finish, you may not continue. But we will persistently explain to the puppy that water is food. Water is food. Water is food. And now we have turned on the water and it is now pouring non-stop. Now we need to make sure that this water is at the normal temperature. If it is very cold or very hot, the puppy can also be frightened by this. You need to wash the dog in such a good hot water, but such that it does not burn your hands. Look, the water is gradually getting to the paws, and now we will see how puppy will react to the water. We pour water, and the dog is still getting used to it. We first check that the water is at normal temperature, and continue to feed the dog. Contact with water has taken place, and you can stop there. It is not necessary to continue it all at once. The water temperature is good, it is hot enough to not burn my hand, and now we will soak the dog's paws. And we continue to switch our attention to food. You see, the puppy does not like it very much, but gradually it adapts. She wants to run away, but we don't let her. If you do this more than once, the puppy will have more fun running into the shower cabin, because it will understand that we came, ate and ran away from there. But now we want to do everything right now, so we're forcing our actions a little bit. Now we'll wet the puppy. The water is warm, Eva doesn't understand anything yet, but if we did everything right, then the puppy should understand that there is nothing terrible in this, and it should be very pleasant. You can encourage the dog with your voice, you can praise it, and gradually we wet the whole dog. When you wash your dog, you need to pour warm water over it, so that all the subaqueous glands and all the grease on its fur dissolves a little in that water, and that its fur is completely wet. You see, the puppy reacts very calmly to this. We continue to work with the food. The first indicator of stress is when the dog does not eat. 
If your dog refuses to eat, it means that it's too scared, so maybe it should be stopped or our influence on it should be reduced. Now we will close her eyes and pour a little bit on the dog's face. Close the ears and pour on the ears. Alright, our dog is wet, happy, the water is warm, there is no fear, and we take a special shampoo for dogs. In general, we use a concentrate, it is diluted concentrate, so we simply pour it with water along the withers, on one side, on the other side, on the legs, on the neck, on the tail. This is not a concentrate. If it is a concentrate, only a drop is enough. And this shampoo is diluted with water, so we can normally soap the dog and let it stand for a while, so that the shampoo does its job and dissolves all the dirt that remains on the dog. We scratch the dog well, give it a massage, so that the dog feels good. Again, the first times you can avoid this. The first times you can only wet everything, or wet only the paws. Our dog is covered in soap, we turn on the water, wait for the temperature to be right, for the water to boil, so that we neither freeze nor scald the dog. That's it, the water is good, let's start washing off the shampoo from the withers. In general, I like to climb the shower with the dog, then we close the door and the dog does not tr try to get out, but today, in order to show you this process, we left the door open. After we have fruitfully washed off the shampoo, we use the conditioner. You see, this is still a very large number of procedures, and the dog is not happy. You can break this process into smaller points, it will be much easier, but we have to watch the dog, so we show you how to do it now. Next, put a towel on the dog, soak it up all the water and massage it.
and there is an additional towel on the floor so that the dog does not get a puddle from it. And we continue to wipe. You see, if I didn't have a towel, I would already be all wet. If you wash the dog properly with the shampoo and conditioner, the fur starts to come out on its own, you don't even need to scratch it. It comes out on its own and you will see how it be washed off with water after that. We offer the dog food. The next step is hair dryer. Professional groomers have a compressor that they use to blow out the fur, but we don't have one, we want to have a regular hair dryer to dry the dog and blow out the fur a bit. We remember that before that we already introduced the dog to electrical appliances. She already knows what they are, so we prepared food, we turned the plants and continue feeding. We make the hair dryer a little louder and we're already blowing on the dock. Again, if you torture the dog, this fear can become infringed. We are both wet because we didn't manage to dry properly the first time, because there is a reaction to the hair dryer and it is more than expected. So we are done. And now, the most terrible event for dogs, claw clipping. And you have to somehow accustom the dog to this. And here the main thing, again, is not to rush. We have a tool, we show to the dog. You see, this tool is neutral so far. The dog has no reaction to this tool. And there are dogs that are horrified just by its appearance. Let the dog smell it. Touch the puppy's paws with the instrument. When you clip for the first time, clip as little as possible, less than a millimeter. Simply click the tool and give the dog a handful of food for it. And that's it. It is not necessary to cut all the claws at once. That's it, and that should be the end. Next time, the next claw. And it is necessary to gradually accustom the dog to this procedure. It is not necessary to immediately break it and cut it completely. That's all, now we'll clean the ears. Look how dirty the ears are. They need to be cleaned, and now I will show you how. I want to introduce you to the dog's ear canal. It is located at an angle of almost 90 degrees and any straight object will not be able to injure your dog's membrane.
That's it. Now we got clean ears. That's all. We washed the dog, dried the dog, started to accustom the dog to cutting its claws and also cleaned his ears. If you liked it, write a comment, like it, subscribe to the channel, press the bell. I'm waiting for you in the next videos. Good luck to everyone.